Hello there. Today we are going to cover how to create alerts for your pro indicators. The process is really simple, actually, but those who are not really familiar with TradingView uh, might not find uh, the solution to create those alerts. So we're going to cover this up today. Uh, so let's get it started. The first thing you have to check is to make sure the indicator is plotted on your chart, and you're going to create alerts out of those. So the way you will do it is first go up there and click the alert button. All right, so you've got the alert window opening right now. I'm going to switch the condition out of BDC price to check the indicator we want to create alerts on. So let's say, for example, we want to create an alert on sine wave beta. All right, then you have a new slot in here that gives you all the outputs of the indicator, and you'll be able to trigger alerts on all of those. So if you want alerts on all the bullish breakouts, all the bearish breakouts, or any of the, the potential cycles, bullish bearish, uh, you've got bullish exit, bullish taking profit, uh, and you can trigger alerts on all of those. Okay, and you'll also be able to create alerts on the little red and blue triangles, which is the bull confirmation and bearish confirmation signal. Uh, so let's say, for example, we want to create an alert on any blue triangle. We're going to use the blue com bull confirmation signal as input, and you're going to use the crossing up setting. Okay, and the value you want to put in here is 0 0.9. Okay, because basically the value is going to oscillate between 0 and 1. So triggering at 0 0.9 will trigger any time the signal is validated. Uh, so it really is that simple then you can use to trigger as bar close. So you want if you have the if you want to have the confirmed signal by the bar closing, you need to select this. Uh, and of course, ons per bar close means that the uh, the alert will remain active uh, until you disactivate it. Okay, only once will of course trigger just once and automatically delete uh, the uh, associated alert. Okay, so let's say for example we're going to use uh, alert by close, uh, so we'll be basically be alerted on any blue triangle when the candle closes. Okay, uh, we're going to class, uh, customize the signal in here. We're going to say for example BTC USD uh, comma H2, and we're going to say sine wave bullish confirmation. All right, we're going to simply do that. And creating this alert will give me all the alerts about the blue triangles that will be created. See, new alert just got created in a few seconds. I can pause it, change it, or anything I want. Uh, and we're going to talk about another alert that you might want to be interested in. Okay, let's say, for example, you want to be alerted on any bearish cycle. Okay, I'm talking about new cycles or any bullish cycle. You will be able to do it, uh, but this is some kind of trick that I need to teach you. So as well, you're going to select sine wave beta as input, and you're going to use the sine wave level to trigger. But this time, we're not going to say crossing up uh, or, or things like that. We're going to use the moving up percentage. Okay, so if you want to have alerts on the bullish cycles, you're going to use moving down, because if you see the, 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 the sine wave level, when it moves down, it means that we're creating a new bullish cycle. When it moves up from the previous value, means that we're creating a new bearish cycle. So if you want to have alerts on all the bullish cycles, you're going to use the moving down. Because you know when the when the sine wave is moving down, means we're creating a new cycle. And of course, moving up will give you all the bearish signals, the bearish cycles. No matter if those are bearish, taking profit or whatever, it will basically trigger any time sine waves is changing to a higher value. Okay, and you're going to use the moving up percentage and you're going to set the, the level to 0 .0 0.0.1, for example. Uh, a very low level that makes sure you're going to trigger any time the sine wave is changing. Uh, you keep the level in here at the minimum and you can change all the other settings. So for example, if you want this to uh, be confirmed by the candle close to make sure it's not going to change in the future, you use the exact same setting in here. You can customize and you can say, for example, BDC USD H2 new bearish cycle. Okay, it really is simple as that. And you can keep the alert running all the time. So if you guys are trading BDC USD on an H2 time frame and don't have time to be in front of your computers uh, and, and, and have something else to take care of during the daytime, then simply put those alerts on and wait to have them triggering. And whenever they do trigger, you know you have to go to your charts and have a look at what happened.
It really is that simple, and you don't have to stay in front of your computers. No matter if you're using this on H2 time frames or five minutes, I really recommend you to create those alerts instead of staying in front of your computers and triggering some kind of overtrading entries or things like that. It really is uh, uh, necessary to handle and, and use alerts to have a better comprehension and better trading. Okay, and really the, the, the basic standard true alerts I really recommend you to do is picking the asset you trade the most and spend the most time in front of your computers on and basically create these alerts out of the bullish cycles and bearish cycle and that's it. Whenever you do that, you don't have to stick in front of your computers. You basically ha wait to have some new cycles uh, plotted in the charts and you know something it has to be adjusted or traded eventually. Uh, but you only have look at the charts when something is really happening and not when nothing is happening and it really is the best way to prevent overtrading. Uh, I hope you guys learned something in here today. I'm going to leave you on that and see you on future videos.